Hey YouTubers, this is Lonnie Clark, Nuts for Art again, here in Eugene, Oregon. Today is March 25th. It's almost 1 o'clock in the morning. I am waiting for some videos to upload. I'm finally uploading the three videos that I made on 311 with Rick Gold, um, Kevin Finnegan, Fast and Ricklin. There was two other people out there with us. We were on the corner of 10th and Oak, I think it is, or 10th and Willamette, in front of the Eugene Library, the main library downtown, and there was only five people there. We were giving out flyers. Um, it was very disheartening to see how lack of interest, like people basically just ran away from us. I was handing out flyers and people didn't really even want them. I mean, it was a shock how we did give them away. We gave away 30 of them or so. I think I brought 30 of them. But, um, you know, I know I read this book a little bit the last time I made a video and said that I was going to read this book. And actually what happened was after I did that first primary reading, I just, you know, I've gotten disheartened because facts don't matter. I mean, we already know that radiation kills people. There's plenty of evidence. There's plenty of evidence. The issue is not whether we know radiation kills us or not. We know that it does. They're hiding what's going on in Chernobyl. They're hiding the effects of what happened at Three Mile Island. They're hiding what happened in Santa Susana. They're hiding what's happened in Porter Ranch. They're hiding what's happening in St. Louis. That's all the nuclear industry does is lie and cheat all the time. So what's the point of me reading these books and wasting my time and your time just listening to me drone on about the levels, these technical, this technical bullshit? I mean, what's the point? What is really the point? So I just, I can't face it. I just, you know, I can't face it. You know, uh, I think what I'll do when I make these short videos is really just give you my opinion. I think that's people seem to care about that more than the facts. That's kind of the shocking thing. Facts don't matter. In fact, people can lie to you. Got something in my mouth. Sorry about that. People can lie to you and they do lie to you and you don't even know it. Um, there's YouTubers out there who make wild, outrageous statements and nobody double checks them on their facts. And if you double check them and you call them on it, they delete your comments. They tell you to fuck off. So really, do facts matter? <laughs> like... We're living in a time where we're the information age, but information is uh, un, unimportant. It's so ironic. We're just bombarded with so much information that none of it matters anymore. I mean, we know for a fact. We This book was written in what year? 1990. First edition, 1990. You think these scientists don't already know this in their findings? Here's just a sampling of what it says. This is on page 2510. Next, we're going to compare our own risk estimate for acute, low, and slow, low exposures for those of UNSCARS 88 in BIER 5. As usual, we assemble the final values from these three sources afterwards. So they go on to compare it and guess what? Ooh, UNSCAR, U-N-S-E-A-R, underreported it. They underreported. Gee whiz. We cannot find any effort by UNSCAR 88 to reconcile its endorsement of either the 5 or the 2 to 10 with its statement cited above. And there is no clearly significant evidence of nonlinearity in the A-bomb study, so that the linear risk estimates are a reasonable su summary of the dose response. So there's just like the World Health Organization, the IAEA, 
Unscar, Unscar, I don't know how we say that, Unscar, U-N-S-C-A-R. They just make shit up. They just say whatever they want. They put it in a book, and that becomes the rules. It has nothing to do with science. And then we have scientists like John Goffman, who busted his neck to be meticulous. And it is just shuffled off, and now we buy his books for five bucks used on Amazon, and nobody in the scientific community ever pays attention to it. While Fukushima has been going on for five years, we have a nuclear volcano going on, and nobody seems to give a crap. Chernobyl is out of control. WIP is out of control. Hanford is out of control. Microencephaly near Hanford is on the rise. Birth defects in Chernobyl is, they can't hide it anymore. It's becoming mainstream. Uh, up by the Great Lakes, they're planning on dumping all this nuclear waste up there. In fact, I know people that have had children up there who have brain disorders. My own family, who lives near Three Mile Island, my sister has three grandchildren that are autistic. All these facts, all these facts, all these facts, and nobody gives a crap. My sister, who has the three grandchildren, she doesn't go and protest the nuclear stuff. She's like, yeah, honey, but what are we going to do? So I just came to this conclusion that I could not read this book. I could not read that book. I, I, this is, if you guys want to get this book, it's on Amazon for like five bucks or ten bucks. If it's not on Amazon, you can buy it. Go to abesbooks.com. Just Google in Dr. John Goffman. This book will pop up. There was lots of them. I bought this for five bucks or something like that. Now, if you want to read some really great books, this is a great book. This made me sad. It took me a year to read this book. It is a hard book for me to read as an American. I, when I started this book, I identified 100% as an American. And after reading this book, I realized that America was stolen. There's another really awesome book that changed my life. Carolyn Meese, Sacred Contracts. And it talks about really exactly what it means, the sacred contracts. We are not an accident, awakening your divine potential. We are not accidents. We're all here on purpose. Here's another book, because many of you know that all of our thoughts, everything that we say to ourselves is an affirmation. So this is Heal Your Body. Now, this book is super awesome, because any ailment that you have, you can look it up, and there's a, a, an affirmation to help you. This talks about the metaphysical reasons why one person gets cancer and the other one doesn't, it has to do with our emotional imbalances. For example, uh, let's just get something simple. I'll just randomly pick something out. Uh, how's about this one? Uh, I saw it. Tumors. People are getting tumors now. Nursing old hurts and shocks. Building remorse. So this is the affirmation you say to yourself to release that. I, re I lovingly release the past and turn my attention away to this new day. All is well. This is an excellent book. It really does teach you about affirmations and how to help them. How to make them help you, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And then, you know my old standby. I read this all the time on my radio show, The Way of Life by Lao Tzu, a book of poetry that's probably, what, 600 B.C., so 2,500 years old. And this helps us remember that we are the human condition. So I'm going to end here, and I'm going to read a poem. I'll read number six because it's really, it's kind of poignant. The breath of life moves through a deathless valley of mysterious motherhood which conceives and bears the universal seed. The seeming of a world never to end. Breath for men to draw from as they will. The more they take of it, the more remains.
Wow. I love that poem. I think I've read all these poems a million times. I'm going to read you number 33. Knowledge studies others. Wisdom is self-known. Muscle masters brothers. Self-mastery is bone. Content never need borrow. Ambition wanders blind. Vitality cleaves to the marrow, leaving death behind. So I will end here, you guys. Thank you for watching my channel. I apologize for being silent. Um, I'm going to make more of an effort to post up more often. I don't think I'm going to read any more books. I might read some poetry here and there. Mostly I'm going to be talking about what my opinion is because I think that's really, I think that matters. I think people care about what we each other think. Uh, I still do encourage people to contact your elected officials. I still do encourage people to stand up in the streets, boom, poke them in the eye, protest. If you have to be the lone protester standing next to the freeway entrance, that's better than nothing. Um, I think it's up to us, and it's on our watch, as Dana says. We can't get out of this, and it is up to us to change it. Or at least go down swinging. So put your courage feet on you guys and um, I'll talk with you soon. The radio show is tomorrow morning, although probably by the time this is uploaded, the show will be over. But uh, it's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 8 a.m. on www.ucy.tv. My show is called The Age of Fission Radio Show. On Mondays, I interview activists from St. Louis. On Wednesdays, I interview activists in the anti-nuclear and the social awareness movement. Fridays are calling Fridays, although that's becoming more and more fluid. Uh, I'm interviewing people on Fridays, like tomorrow I'll be interviewing Patty Amino. So um, put your courage feet on, guys. Thanks for following me. And, um, you know, we just have to be stronger than they are. And we have to believe in ourselves Love, honor, approve of yourself. Do some tapping. Tap, tap, tap. It's always a great place to tap. Right here is a great place to tap just to calm yourself down. And, um, you know, we're going to make it. That's the thing. We're going to survive. Uh, we're going to survive whatever it is they got dished out because we got it. So, ciao, you guys.